Welcome to the All Things Pelicans podcast. The Tay Visual Network, we are here, and this is a special Q&A episode. Just, I am... Just for y'all. Tay Visuals. Um, y'all probably don't see me too much, but I'm just filling in right here for my boy, Travez. Got my guy right here, Jelani. Pretty and cool. like I said, we about to deliver some Q&As, which Jelani put on his um, Instagram post mm. and told y'all to send questions, and y'all showed love. Yeah, I appreciate that. Appreciate that. Facts, and y'all sent the questions in, so we here to answer them for y'all. And it's some good questions we went over before the show, so let's get to them. Let's get to them. You pick the first one. All right, so. And shout out the name, too, who um, sent the question. All right, shout out to shout out to my guy, Fred, man. He gave us his question. Mm-hmm. So he asked us, how many rounds are we winning in the playoffs? Um, Now, I'm going to tell y'all this. He said, how many rounds we winning? I'm not a diehard Pels fan, uh, <laughs> but I am objective, and I see the progress that the Pels have made New Orleans, over the man. years. Right. I'm a New Orleans fan. <laughs> I, I would never root against the Pelicans, you know, but how many rounds they win it? I, I could see the Pelicans getting too fully healthy to the conference finals. Yeah, that's, so that's one or two rounds, right? Right. Yeah. That And I can see the Pelicans getting to the finals, though. I really could. Nah. You don't think so? Nah. Let, let, me get, let me give you my... Um, let me give you my um what I think because I told you this before the um before the um couple other shows. I don't think the West has nobody dominant. And we saw Zion healthy. We haven't seen Zion and BI yet. So you're right. I ain't gonna go to the finals. I'm gonna go to the conference finals. I think conference finals they'll be fine. But yeah, I think two two rounds they can win. They can win the first round, second round, and they'll be Dubbed like July the city, he'll be dubbed out the um, conference finals. <laughs> but now, nah, I say I was saying I might I, I'm gonna say two rounds too. But like the Western Conference is more is more teams than the East because in the East, what you say the Bucks, Celtics, Nets, Philly. It, it's more dominant teams mm-hmm. because I think all those teams can beat the Denver Nuggets, the first seed in yeah, the West. The, they could beat the Nuggets. Well, let me let me run through the West and mm-hmm. the West. So you got us, you got the Nuggets, mm-hmm. Grizz, mm-hmm. Warriors. I'm gonna put the Suns in there too. Mm-hmm. The temp. Timberwolves the six seed. Timberwolves probably be probably be in that too. So, but that's probably like the the contending teams and Dallas too. That's probably the, the Western Conference Finals contending teams. Mm-hmm. But and well, it, who we gonna play to get to the Western Conference Finals? That's that's the real problem. So, all right, lay it all like that. You think they could beat the Mavs in the seven game series? Yeah. Pelicans. Yeah. Um. You think they could beat the Grizzlies? In seven. Yeah. Denver. I don't know. Denver. Warriors. Denver and the Warriors, the only two teams to worry about. Okay. Like the Warriors, like nobody. I don't know why people saying like the Warriors like sad right now. They they're just, saying that because they they having a lackluster. But everybody they're coming, up, they're the, coming off a of finals, right? Yeah. Every, everybody in the West bunched up right now. But mm-hmm. so you think they could be every, everybody except for you? Not sure about Denver. Denver and the and the what about the Suns? They lost to the Suns last year. We gonna double them. Okay, <laughs> get back. <huh? laughs> no. Revenge. But like the the Grizzlies, the Grizzlies, the Mavs, and the Suns. That's the three teams I know we gonna dub for real. Okay, okay, get back. Let's yeah. get to the next question then. Let me see. So the next question on my guy Jamal: Will the losing streak continue? <laughs> now, um, when we put this episode out, it's gonna be after this Mavs yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. The, they haven't played yet. We're filming before the game, so when this come out, we don't know if they won or lost the Mavs game. So don't hey, don't don't flood the comments trying to embarrass us. Right. Oh. So if we say no, <laughs> just know we haven't seen the Mavs game yet. It's gonna so, come on. It's come on like ten minutes though. We, we, we coming up. Right. What y'all? What you think? No. That's all I'm gonna say. No. That loser streak won't continue. That's all. No. It's gonna continue. Cause, Cause look, we might look. Say we won this game, mm-hmm. we might lose the next game. I guess the Lakers. Mm-hmm. I think the losing streak gonna continue. I think they're gonna lose against the Mavs and, and the, the Lakers. Lakers. Twelve, they, they well, they eleven the, game losing streak. But then we play the Kings. Y'all gonna lose that one too. If if nobody helped, if Zion not back, that's crazy. Too. Right. I'm not too optimistic right now. Dang. <laughs> At least look, I ain't, I don't got no gear on. I'm, we we rocking, the, we rocking the flag tonight. We rocking I'm the rocking flag. the flag too. <laughs> <laughs> but man, but look, will the losing streak continue? I'm saying no, but. Tay saying, yeah, but hey. I think they'll break it against the Hawks. The Hawks? No, bro. If we lose to the Hawks. No, I think y'all going to beat the Hawks. Oh, beat the Hawks? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's what I think y'all going to break it. Mm -hmm. But the Kings tough. Oh, but is Sabonis still out? I don't know. For the Kings? No, he playing playing like. Oh, he playing well. well. If they playing, well, 
He should be playing this game. I think he's coming back. Because he's on my fantasy team as well. Right. And, and like I said, yeah, the, the Lakers always a toss-up game. Like mm-hmm. I said, they lose against the Pacers. You said that. So, you could get the Lakers on a good night. And Brian, y'all, y'all already know Brian going to play. He's trying to break the record. He's not yep. sitting out. I promise you, he's not sitting out. Yeah, he I don't want him to sit out. I'm trying to go to the game. So. Me too. I like to go to that too. I want to see a, um, history before it's done. I knew he ain't going to do it that game. He won't do it at home. But nah. I want to see it the game before. I nah, can say I've been a part of that. If he was going to break it. I was definitely gonna be in that like one hundred percent. Sitting at the top though, cause them ticket, bro. You, you saw know, the high, you saw the highest ticket for the game? Seventy five racks, huh? Flow seats? Nah, uh, ninety two. Ninety two racks? For the thunder. When you break well, when he's supposed to break it, ninety two bands. Ninety two, boy, that's somebody that's a salary for you. Yeah, I ain't nah, <laughs> I'm doing, <laughs> no the, cheapest, I'm doing the cheapest ticket. I like the ticket. Like, look, <laughs> lowest price on C Geek, huh? <laughs> nah, bro. Cause ninety two bands. I don't got the bread, bro, but ninety two bands. If you had the bread, you um go to say you had ten million in your account, would you pay for ninety two yeah, bands? Yeah, for sure. Just because you, like you'll bring your um friend, my girl. No, yeah. I wouldn't. You wouldn't pay it. <laughs> nah, I'll bring. I'll, let me stop. I won't bring her. But nah, but like you no, know, because like she always go to the games. With okay, me, so like I, I, I'm a burger, but bro, do she know bands? ball? Yeah, she know ball. All right, for sure. Then. Yeah. That's good. Then. She know, right. she know, she know football too. Mm-hmm. We had went to, we had went to, uh, we had went to. Um, I forgot. She, she. I think we went to a Saints game. Maybe like two years ago. We ain't go to. You ain't go to one this year. I told her. I told her I ain't gonna go to a Saints game this year. But we, um, yeah. If, if, if LeBron was playing and I had bread, well, I tell her look, flow seats on me. That's good. That's crazy. Ninety two <sighs> bands still tough to chalk up, even when you got that bread. But I guess hey, you witness a history. Yeah. Right. But, we we gonna get to another one though. Um, I, I won't pick this one. Mm-hmm. Um, from D Graham, mm-hmm. would you rather play Jax uh, or Billy or trade for a better backup big? Wait, before I answer that, is it Willie or Billy? Because the name, no, because, no, because Trevez said it, because Joel, he be saying Billy, but his name is Willie. It's Willie Hernan Gomez. It's yeah. Willie. I don't know. I guess he called him Billy. Right, whatever. But <laughs> who would I rather have? Uh, I would rather play. I would rather play Billy. Well, Willie Hernan Gomez for sure. Um, but trade for a better backup big? Out of all those options. I'll probably trade for a better backup big rather than play Jackson uh Willie. But <laughs> dang it. Yeah, but I'll rather I'd rather play uh Willie Hernan Gomez. Okay. Um I'm over that demigod. Um, actually, look, that the person that asked Derek, he be every time Jax get a highlight, he sent it to me and be like, That's the that's the Demi guy, that's the Demi guy. I, I would rather play probably Jackson Hayes because Willie has kind of the similar skill set to Valentunas, yeah, for sure. And for sure, I think it's repetition if you put both of those in, they kind of offensive minded playmaking. Well, yeah. Willie, I, I like how Willie play making. Yeah, yeah, Willie, you know, Willie, that international player, they always got some smooth MVP passers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I gotta keep saying it like MVP. We got a uh, uh, what it was, FIFA, FIFA MVP. I don't know, well, Cup something, MVP. something, something over there, he won MVP. Yeah, I think I think even though I think Jack's time is up, um, for the Pelicans, he's, it's just haven't been a good fit. Mm-hmm. He haven't been way to find find his way into the rotation consistently. So I think like you talked about um in a video that's gonna be coming out, I think they should go for a better backup big one that fit more, like you said, more Bamba and Nas Reed. So yeah, so sure. trade for the better backup big out of all those options. Yeah. So got the next question: What seed? Do you project the Pels to finish? Where's my guy, Justin? Got JJ. I'm going to let you go ahead go first. <laughs> Trevaz, you picked the first yeah, seed. Yeah, hey, T4, you did say the first seed. You ain't here. You ain't, you, hey, look, you said one, so we going to answer for him. <laughs> Trevaz, you said one. But uh, see, I ain't going to get, well, look, I ain't going to give you specific. I'm going to just say top five. Top five. Just to, just to save me. It's tough right now, but I'm going to go with. We at what, 10 right now? They had 10 right now, but a two-game win streak could get you to five or six. Yeah. So, it's pretty close. But I'm going to go – see, it depends on when Zion come back. Yeah, that's what it is. Like, that's, if that's Zion exactly come back, is. they're not going to be in a plan. No. If he come back healthy, no. they're not going to be in a plan. But if he comes – takes a little bit longer and this losing streak get worse, top six. I'm going to say top six. Top six. Not top five. 
At one, I'm gonna go, go, go six. They lose in too many games, bro. Like what I was like. Okay, six. So, that's so, you being safe. For six. Yeah, I'm, I'm being kind of safe, and that's right above the play in. So as long if they in the play in, I wouldn't be shocked. Dang, I wouldn't be shocked. Just how the West going right now? Yeah, it's like, maybe we might have like that first that first spot. Like they a game out of twelve, bro. Like, thunder, <laughs> thunder game. But well, you said no. Thunder like they the lose the half. night. They tied for twelve with the Thunder. And the Thunder, they're not even tanking, but they just the Thunder. Right, they just winning games because they got Shea. He's a baller. <laughs> yeah, shout out Shea too, man. All star, bro. All star. Shout out Shea. all the all star. Hey, look, we ain't gonna talk about the all star because I feel some type of way. My guy D Fox wasn't in it, but we ain't gonna we could we could see the all stars for another time. Damn D Fox, D Fox, yeah, definitely D Fox. I should have would have had for you. And Harden, bro. Harden. Nah, you on, can bro. go ahead with your Harden. Go ahead. Nah, you don't like Harden. You keep pushing Harden. No. Over who? Wait, who? Wait, who was the guard we said? The Rose and the Halliburton. Oh, uh, yeah, y'all vote on that. He said Harden should have been in over Halliburton. Halliburton or Harden. This year, please don't go to back to Houston Harden to tell me about it. He scored 35 this year only. Put it in the comments. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, T. You're going to see a lot of Harden. The only Maybe. way it's going to be Harden because the name. The brand. No, but I like Halliburton, though. I, I'm, I'm glad he got the all. He deserved it, though. I ain't going to say he wasn't deserving. but First time all stuff. But the red, well... They do have like a reserve reserve list might come out because you know some people be injured too, so they might yeah. put Harden in now. Zion injured. That's coming. That's the West though. Oh yeah. Who injured in the East? Somebody. KD. KD. Who gonna get in for him? I don't know. We'll get that yeah. another time. <laughs> 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 All right. Let me. Um. Let's see. What we got, got one from Troy. Troy, my man, Mister <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> Who okay. are some trade targets we need to go after? All right, you so made a video. Yeah, so we made a video about this one. So we're gonna give y'all a uh, preview, mm-hmm. after view, whatever, whenever y'all see the vid. But let me give y'all five of what I said in the episode. I said OG Ananobi, Gary Trent, Malik Beasley, mm-hmm. Bungdanovich. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna give y'all every, every everybody that said OG <laughs> a preview. <huh>? Yeah. <laughs> OG Ananobi, Gary Trent, Malik Beasley, uh Bungdanovich, mm-hmm. uh Mobamba, Nas Reed, and John Collins. So that was that's my that's my targets. Okay, um, I like that. Main target for me would probably be. I don't want to go extreme to OG right now because the asking price really tough. Even though the Pelicans have the assets, so I'm but gonna go with. You think he worked it? Though? I think he worked it. Three three unprotected first. We're not asking him to be like our best player though. Right, but three unprotected. That's like you need to yeah, be yeah. like a top three option. Yeah, but I, I, he what? might be. He might be over CJ. CJ. No, that well he when, could be when OG when, if if we get if we get that OG and Anobi or Bogdanovich it's gonna take so much off CJ I promise you and yeah. that's, gonna, that's gonna open up his game yeah and I think it's gonna allow Bi to smooth his way back in easy where he don't gotta mm-hmm. force a lot of things so sure. they need to get one I think they should go for the wing Bogdan or OG and then if we get that trade uh, before the trade deadline is. They're gonna be playing with us before the All Star break too, so they can get some run. Mm-hmm. I think the All Star break maybe the week, the weekend of the sixteenth. So. Yeah, around Two Valentine, weeks. right after Valentine's Day, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's get let's get another one. Dude. All right, so my guy Kevin, Kevin, this is a, this is a wild question. Okay, this is a wild question. He asked, "Should we trade Brandon Ingram?" Whoa! Come on now. Nah. <laughs> Kev, bro. Come, Come on, on now. Come on, Kev. Bro. B.I.? You ain't rocking with B.I., bro. Come on. Trading B.I. is crazy, bro. Why Why would we trade Why would we trade B.I.? Who asked that? Kevin. My guy, Kevin. I don't, I don't know you, Kevin, but give B.I. a chance, bro. He just came <laughs> back. You trying to get rid of him? That's my guy, bro. Kevin, bro. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to hit you up after this episode and ask why you asked that. Because I didn't even see that you asked this question, bro. Mm-hmm. B.I.? Nah, C.J.? You could get gone. We could trade. <laughs> look. Look. Trade B.I., no. That's, that's CJ? Yeah, CJ can get going. Who going to run your offense if y'all trade CJ? We going to trade for him. CJ not even a point guard. And he running that's, the offense. That's the point. Ain't no, no point, point guard no out intended. there. Kyle Lowry, you don't want him. Mike Conley, he's a good point guard, but I would like to pair him with CJ, even point. though there'll be a small backup. Right. We should have traded for Darren Fox last year. We should have pulled that trigger, for sure. Darren Fox, that was on the table? Yeah, you don't remember it was it was expensive though. Who y'all was trading? Them picks and who else? Probably D Graham. Probably. Yeah. Probably Jackson. Because you know, um, because you know Philly was trying to get CJ until Harden ended up was like, yeah, I'm on out. And it was like, yeah, Philly, Philly was trying to get him. Philly's always trying to get somebody. 
Philly probably still trying to get somebody. Are you playing? Okay, okay. Let's um let's get to that one with the jerseys. The mm-hmm. Mardi Gras jerseys. Who asked that again? Kevin. <laughs> oh, Kevin. Uh, yeah. For sure. The better question, bro. I like that one. That's a better <laughs> a question. Better question. <laughs> but um also the new Mardi Gras jerseys. This them, well, y'all can't see them, but we got them pulled up right here. Mm-hmm. I have a I have a Brandon Ingram jersey, by the way. Mm-hmm. Mardi Gras jersey. I like these. They better than these these t-shirts ones right here. I ain't gonna lie, these I don't know what year this from. That's Drew in it. So that's Ryan Anderson. So that's like 20. What 14? AD Drew Holiday. Quincy Pondexter. Bro. Whoa. Nah. We the, the old Pels list is crazy. Man, the Pels always did need a small forward. Like you know, you know, uh, we had Jimmy Nelson on the team at one point. Who? Jimmy Nelson. He's the Oh, Jimmy Nelson. Oh, for the Magic. Did you know that? I think I remember him. I didn't. I remember him. 14. Probably. I don't even know what number you were. Yeah, 14. You were 14. I remember him. Little shorty. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but the Mardi Gras jerseys, I do like these. Uh, I think we had some, I think we had some white ones. Is that white ones? Yeah, they do. They look like a little um, king cake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Randazzles. <laughs> nah, shout out Randazzles, dude. Real tough. Right. But um, yeah, like, I like these jerseys a lot. They, um... Those old jerseys that we had with Chris Paul, I don't know if y'all remember them. It was like, um, it was like yellow going down the sides and either green or purple in the front and back. And them were crazy. Ah, oh, I don't remember that. You remember? Nah, I'm about to get them pulled up right quick. I remember when Chris Paul came to um, my um, elementary school. For real? Him and David West. Yeah. Look, you remember these? No, I don't remember them. Dang. I remember that one. What? What, this green one? Oh, yeah, the purple one was hard, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, it's, it's purple in the front, green in the back. That's tough. I like them. The two tone. We should have should have brought them back. But no, the biggest thing with the Mardi Gras jerseys, I feel like we should have a court with it. Oh, like um, a city sign. Court. Like instead of us being, instead of us having like the natural like colors, have okay. the Mardi Gras colors like on a jersey. Okay. Because like you know, um, like all them other teams be having like their own city edition court. So yeah. I feel like that's what we're missing out on. Mm-hmm. I'm glad they I'm, ain't they changed the um thing. They still name the baby cakes. What? They changed them names. I, I would baseball I think, team. I don't think they're a team no more. Oh yeah, they not. From the Zephyrs to the Baby Cakes, the new team. I used to go. I used to be going to the Zephyrs game with my grandpa. I too. went to a few of them games too. They had some field trips there. Nah, because I know used to do the. Uh, they used to do the, the fireworks show on Fridays. <laughs> they used to do the thing where they let you throw the ball. What on the field? No. Um, oh, they had oh, the little oh, yeah. Pitcher thing. See mm-hmm. how fast you throw it. Mine mm-hmm. was like fifty eight. <laughs> Flaming 58 gas. <laughs> but, All right, let's go, man. Oh, we skipped this one. What? What you got? Fully healthy is Zion an MVP caliber? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But yes. we need to see 65, hey, 68 look. games of fully healthy Zion. Look, he is an all-star starter, so that's that's one. He, what what he's only playing he's 29 definitely. games? 20, what, how many games he played? 27. Yeah, he he missed like twenty games, so and he's still all star starter. So I don't know if that's a lot about the forwards in the West. Uh, he just that good. What you think? Both, definitely both. Because I don't know how people view Zion with like Luca and Tatum. Like I don't know what he got them. I don't know what people got them in in that like young player, like top best young player. Mm-hmm. But I'll probably say Luca and Tatum over him right now. Okay, but. He right there. Like he right there. I think um, Giannis and Yoke is not young no more, but they they're younger. But right. Like of like the young, young players, I think he like top three, top four. Yeah, I think Zion Zion is on that. He's the player who has to prove himself now. Mm-hmm. Because we seen Luca do it in the playoffs, even though he's lost, he just will the marriage to, to the, the conference West finals. finals. Mm-hmm. Tatum balled out last year, got them to the finals. He didn't really play too good in the finals. Yeah, he had a lot of turnovers. He led the um, playoffs in turnovers last year, but Crazy. he 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 been on an upward trajectory his whole career. Now it's time for Zion. He was out during the playoffs. It's time for him to win a series and have some clutch moments, big but shots. I feel like we saw a taste of it before he got hurt. Like mm-hmm. just him, just him being named the All Star starter. I don't know how y'all feel, but I, I really felt good about that because mm-hmm. like. I know Zion, he was talking about like being depressed and all that stuff. You know, he was out, you know, how um was it Swin Cash that was talking to him? Mm-hmm. Maybe Swin Cash. Swin Cash was trying to like, you know, build up his confidence and stuff like that. And um, yeah, bro, like it is he came along well, it's not a long way, but he definitely came away. Mm-hmm. So I just want to stay healthy. 
But he is an MVP caliber yeah. player when healthy to answer sure. your question. So got this next question. Well, mm-hmm. not a design question. Design pushed the pedals to the top. The top of what? To the top. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the top be, but if it's the finals, I'm going to say no. Mm-hmm. If it's a championship, definitely no. This year, definitely no this year. It's just they got too much going on right now. You just think, well, let me see. He said design pushed the pedal to the top. I'm going to say no, mm-hmm. but I'm going to say that we need to trade to take us to the top. So, yeah. So, design pushes to the top? Yeah. Yeah, I can say that. But we seen what we seen what uh, we could be last year. Uh, no, actually, we could we seen what we could be this year in the beginning of the, in the, beginning of the season. Got, uh, I don't know how many games CJ, B.I., and Zion played. Not that many, but... When they played, we saw what this team could be at full, you know, at full strength. So I think we could get somewhere near the top of the college finals. <laughs> near the top. <laughs> That's a safe answer, man. Mm-hmm. I think me and Jelani both got the Pelican ceiling is the conference finals. Mm-hmm. That's not bad, though. That's not. But, you know, at the beginning of the season, you was thinking finals. But now, Zion went down. Nine game losing streak. Got everybody reevaluating life. You thinking playing, though. <laughs> Playing, bro, is crazy. <laughs> Top of the season, we like Lakers two and ten. We about to get Wimbiana. <laughs> <laughs> nah, if we got, bro. Wimby, I hope the Lakers start losing. Like I hope so. That'll be we Wimby. They don't got a chance to get Wimby. I don't matter. It, it don't matter how much the Lakers lose. The Houston and Detroit, they got like thirteen wins. I think but that's a lottery though. So, hey, the Knicks thought they was on get Zion, but we got them. Yeah, they, but they was like they they were supposed to get like what the third pick. Nah, you know, cool. you know they changed the lottery eyes. You know, like the first three, first three picks have like a thirty some percent chance. Then the rest of the people just got like small four percent, eight percent. It go down and down. Mm. So the Lakers had to lose so much. But yeah, yeah. I don't know about the top for the um, somewhere right there. Well, the Pelicans got another question from Kevin. Man, Kevin, I really appreciate it, bro. Shout out Kevin, man. He said. Another superstar that you would trade for? Ooh. You go first. I got to think on this one. That's a that's a one. That's a shocker right there. I got to think. Superstar. So, All right. I'm gonna just say unrealistic. Unrealistically, because we're not gonna get him. Jokic. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I promise you, we have Jokic <laughs> with Zion and Bi. So what you gonna trade Bro. if you're getting Jokic? Everybody. Everybody but you keep it going. B.I. B.I. gonna have to go. Yeah, B.I. can go. He gonna have to go if you trade for Jokic. The Nuggets go on something. But they go with all them Lakers picks, all them Bucks picks. Have them. <laughs> you can take them. <laughs> yeah, he's about to be a three time MVP. Well, maybe three time MVP. Back to back to back. Having a trip dub right now. What? Another one. Another one I say. I can say Shea Super. You think Shea Superstar? Um, I yeah. think he uh right emerging up. superstar. Because right, cool. you gotta. You know, you got to get it now. I think it's only a few superstars. You got to do it, like, in the playoffs yeah. to, like, put put you there. Stay ain't never been on – Shea ain't never been on that stage yet, but he's a emerging star. So I'm, I'm going to say Dame instead of Shea then. Dame, Dame. Dame definitely a superstar, so. Tough. If Dame – nah, because it was – maybe last year we was talking about getting Dame before we got CJ. Mm-hmm. It was like a wild card, though, but Dame, Dame will go crazy on this team. I could agree with you on that because – the other players I'm thinking of, they're not superstars. Because I was thinking of like a Bradley Bill, a Zach Levine, players like that. Yeah, Bill. I'm kind of off Bill. Uh-huh. Uh, Bill just. He he stay injured now. He, he, uh-huh. Them hamstrings, and he got a $200 million contract. He just don't push the needle for me no more. Right, right. Sure. Hey, man, Levine. Well, Levine might do better on, never, on a different team, but Bill just don't push the needle for me no more. Right. You kind of convinced me with that damn little point. I like the damn little um. And I think they have the assets to get him whenever Dame feels like never. he need, <laughs> like uh, he ain't never gonna get out of Portland. Right, like he in the tenth seed right now. Man, he been we, like round. We said something about the grind. Y'all yeah, cheating the know, grind. Y'all cheating the grind. Yeah, right. but he was asking for KD to come to his team that all season when he requested a trade. Well, that this was all season, a couple months. Well, a few months ago. Yeah, he was like, "Come over here." Now that would that would have been crazy though. KD in Portland. Yeah, it would have been. Uh, I ain't no comment. Right? <laughs> it was Curry, so it's all good. So, got two more questions. So, the best trade bait. Best trade bait that the Pels have. I'm assuming it's from the Pels. So, mm-hmm. the best trade bait the Pels have 
Other than the picks, I'm going to say yeah, the players. The yeah. If I was another team and the Pels wanted, um, say I'm the Raptors and the Pels wanted OG Ananobi. I want Trey Murphy. Mm-hmm. I'm being realistic here because I can't just say I want Trey Not Murphy, sure. Herb, Jose. I want Trey Murphy and I'll take Devontae Graham and Jackson Hayes mm-hmm. in two picks. Now, if I don't get Trey Murphy, I will want three picks. And no player. No. And with those and, players, because the Trey salaries got to match, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, Devontae Graham, Jackson Hayes, Najee Marshall. Mm-hmm. Well, so... Since he said best trade, I'm going to say like the best, the best players that somebody could trade for. So I'm going to just, I'm going to just say Trey Herb and Najee. Like, cause I feel like. The wings. Yeah, the wings. Everybody going to need a wing. Right. right. Like Jose, I think Jose at this point, if it's not like a crazy deal, I feel like Jose is untouchable. Not like crazy untouchable, but like Zion and he just, He's a fan favorite energy booster. Yeah. That's what I think. But I think, yeah, like that's, that's good you say that. I think tr- Trey, Herb, and Najee. But I'll take Trey because he's, I think he's the youngest out of all of them. No, and, well, you know, Trey and Herb got drafted the same year. But I don't know who older. I heard probably older. Okay, than. yeah. But Trey, he has the the jump shot. He, he's the shooter of the group. And he's long. Athletic, he shows. Athletic. Yeah, he showed potential. He in a dunk contest, huh? Yeah, I don't think he's going to win, though. <laughs> yeah, but he in a dunk contest. <laughs> he was athletic. He long. And he can play some defense when he, um, when he get down and dirty. Mm-hmm. But Herb, the defensive specialist. Najee, the. The knife, as they say. The knife. <laughs> but yeah, that's yeah. the that's the best trade you be. I yeah. guess Jack, somebody somebody probably gonna want Jack just because he's seven feet and be dunking on everything. Y'all demigod. Trevez demigod. I don't <laughs> you claim him no more. Look, he, Trevez, you know on the podcast right now, so he's he your demigod. He, I, I, don't, I don't claim he him no more. Drop Jacks from the label. <laughs> hey, look, get off this team, bro. It is what he it gone. is. He I gone. All right, so got this last question, bro. Which young player has the best upside? I feel I'm like I just named him. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna say it again. Though. I, I'm on Trey. I like yeah, Trey. Trey. Just because the only thing, the only thing Trey missing is he don't have no bag. He don't. He don't. Right, and that's dribbling. gonna come. Mm-hmm. That's gonna come. I feel like Trey is a. What can I say? He is. What can I compare him to? Because he has an offensive game. He just. He, he's not asked to create off the dribble right now. Mm-hmm. They have CJ, they have B.I., he just came back. And Devontae Graham is supposed to be that off the bench. So he's the spot-up guy, and you see he gets some athletic alley hoops sometimes. So I don't think he asked to dribble the ball a lot right now. So he just perfected what he's asked to do. But if he expanded his role, I think he could be a real nice little 18-point-per-game yeah. score. He do have a, a, a just 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 how like the player he is like you, you just like you named everything like he he like the perfect perfect role player mm-hmm. so well and the best well you said the question is upside but like the best young player right now is probably Jose though Jose yeah. you really like Jose yeah you like Jose I, do. <laughs> I, I love Jose man. shout out Jose man for real Jose jersey coming soon be quiet on that. Telling y'all. Yeah, you really big on Jose. I yeah. like Jose though. He bring that energy. He got them hitting steals. But like when Jose, nah, when Jose not hitting no hitting threes, bro, he just be out there, bro. Sometimes, some days he just like he just be running. <laughs> That's just cause the energy and he's short, bro. Yeah. Don't do him that, bro. <laughs> he still bring that energy on defense all the time, no yeah. matter if he hitting or not. Always. So. Yeah. Uh, I think that's it for the question, too, bro. That's all, that's all we had. All right, y'all. That was a QA. A lot of questions that y'all ask. Keep them coming. You know, um, we got the Jersey giveaway coming up. I'm going to pick that up tonight. Like I said, when y'all see this episode, the next episode, we will have the Jersey right here for y'all. We ain't going to tell y'all who the name is. We're going to show that on the clip. But we appreciate y'all for um, sending the questions in. I'm glad we got the answer for y'all. Continue to grow with us on the podcast. Give us um, five stars on all the podcast streaming platforms. And leave a review, too, if you like the show. Leave a review. Five star. Yeah. And YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe. Any last words, Jay? Nah. Just follow the page. Follow t Visual Network on Instagram. Look out for the guidelines for the jersey. I can say guidelines for the jersey giveaway. Look out <laughs> for that, man, because it's coming soon. I know y'all want it's a It's a free jersey. I know y'all going to want a free jersey. So just follow the page up and just keep rolling with us, bro. Mm-hmm. And we out. Peace. <laughs>